Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. In his novel 1984, George Orwell wrote, The party told you to reject the evidence of your eyes and ears. It was their final, most essential command. In this video, we're going to take a look at that concept in action. Over the past 12 years, Greenland's Petermann Glacier has grown almost 10 miles. This is where the ice edge was during August 2012. You can see the ice edge growing in 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, and this year. There's no question that the Petermann Glacier has grown over the past 12 years. But Reuters fact check claims the exact opposite. They say Greenland's Petermann Glacier is getting smaller, not growing. Petermann Glacier in Greenland is getting smaller, according to NASA and glaciologists, not larger, as claimed in social media posts saying that the glacier has defied news reports by growing 3 meters a day over the past 11 years. The imagery we just looked at showing the glacier growing was from NASA. Reuters wants us to reject the evidence of our eyes and ears. The reality is that the Petermann Glacier is always growing. This graph shows the surface mass balance of Greenland, which is the difference between the amount of snow which falls and the amount which melts off the surface. On average, almost 400 billion tons more snow falls on Greenland every year than melts, and this year has been just about average. This excess snow builds up in the interior of Greenland and forms glaciers, which flow down to the sea. When the glacier reaches the sea, it forms floating ice shelves. Wave action eventually causes these ice shelves to crack and calve off icebergs. This happened early in the summer in 2012. This is what the Petermann Glacier looked like in 2011. And in 2012, this piece broke off and floated away. The press, of course, got hysterical and claimed the glacier was shrinking due to climate change. But the glacier is never shrinking. It's always growing, as we see in this sequence of photographs. The Petermann Glacier will again crack and calve off giant icebergs. This is what the glacier has always done. And the press will again get hysterical, claiming that the ice is disappearing. But you can't tell if something is growing based on its current length. Glenn Fry had long hair in 1977, and later in life he had shorter hair. But his hair didn't stop growing, he just had a different haircut. You can't infer whether or not something is growing based on its current length. Instead, you have to look at how its length changes over time. This is how the glacier looked in 2012, and this is how the glacier looks now. And sometime in the not-too-distant future, the Petermann Glacier will again calve off a giant iceberg like it did in 2012. The press will once again claim that the glacier is shrinking, even though it's actually growing like it always does. Their claims are based on propaganda, not science. Toto has been playing back the curtain on the climate scam for the past 16 years. You can visit him and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.